Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Egg Busters. I'm your host, Austin, that wants you fun. We have a phenomenal episode for you today. But first, if you've never uh, watched Egg Busters before, Egg Busters is sort of like uh, a glitch. Gl 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 um, let's do it. So we have a game on the show this week that is uh, very critically acclaimed. A lot of people love it and have uh, exceptionally positive memories of playing it back in 2000, probably whenever The Matrix came out. That's right, Half-Life 2. We've got two glitches coming up in Half-Life 2. Both of them come from YouTube videos that I found in the past week. The first glitch that we're going to be looking at is... And, oh, it's an out of bounds glitch. It's a getting places you're not supposed to be glitch. Now, thankfully, it doesn't seem too hard. We have to go to the fourth chapter of the game, which is a chapter where you ride on a little dune buggy in the water, also known as a boat. You locate a certain place, and then you have to go around and find two boxes and two barrels and stack them up in a corner just right, such that you can jump on top of all four of them and get on top of a roof and jump out over the edge of the map. And that's it. That's the glitch. Stack some shit up and jump out over a fence. I don't know what you can do once you leave the fence, but I guess we will figure that out together. Let's take a look at this glitch. Hello, welcome to Half-Life 2. Okay, what I gotta do is find two boxes. This is a box, this'll do. I gotta get it up there without breaking it. I'm not sure how to do that. Let's move this. Excuse me, box. You can't pick up these giant boxes because Gordon skipped arm day. Get up here, box. I'm sorry, I'm ranting and raving about the jam. Get up the ladder. I hate this game. You gotta stack up all these props that we're finding right in the corner here. Gotta do a, <coughs> excuse me. Got to put a box, then you got to put another box on top of the first box. All right, we got the two boxes, and then we got to get a barrel up there. Bang, perfect. Jump on top of the first barrel. Get up the barrel, there we go. And then set this barrel on top. I'm a genius, this is like uh, Breath of the Wild up in here. Don't fall! All right, we've got our tower. It's beautiful. It's the 2017 Empire State. Oh, oh, oh. I guess I just gotta jump up my structure that I built here. Shoot the window too. You gotta shoot the window once. I'm making stuff up. You don't have to do that. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Jump, 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 and jump, and jump. French. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, piss. Oh, it worked. Look at that one. The blue guy. He sacrificed his life for me. Give me a kiss. No, that's not a kiss, that's a death. All right, let's go down here. Actually, let's save. Caught myself there. Do you think we can get over to the Citadel Tower? To that tower in the distance that's a fake tower? Oh, there's a ta whole city over there. We can ask for help and go buy a, buy a place. I got a place there, right there, right? Hold on, right there, that's my apartment. Let's go visit my apartment. Oh, I can't. Maybe we can go to my apartment if we go up this hill. We can't go up this hill. What kind of moldy ass grass is that? Okay, well. French. You then, Half-Life. You know, he looks a bit like the butler from Princess Diaries. Joe. Is that his name, Joe? I like his name. I shouldn't say that. Okay, what if I start up on the roof? Then maybe I can jump over the wall. Actually, let's jump to this uh, other building. Boom, yeah, look at this. Let's jump to this one now. Ha ha! And now we can go visit my apartment. Don't go down there. That's where the government lives. We stay away from the government. Off we go. Which one did I say was my apartment again? That one? That green one? Third from the right? Second from the right? Who knows? Oh, look at this. This is crazy. I don't think I can actually walk this way anymore, unfortunately. So I cannot bring you home to my apartment. I know you really wanted to come. It's not how it happens, babe. Okay? Sometimes you are allowed to go to your apartment. Sometimes you're not. Right now, I'm not, so this date is over. We can go visit my brother's apartment. He lives in that green one, third from the left. That's the same. They cheated. All right, crossing the bridge. That's why I'm not a real comedian, see? I'm a fake ass comedian. Just say ass funny, and then people laugh. And it's really, it's not funny, but it's how I, you know, gotta make a living. Anyone home?
What if we go back out over, uh... Oh, oh, I fell. I've made a horrible mistake. Oh, wait, maybe I haven't. Maybe I made a genius decision. Let's just run this way. This all looks kosher, right? Is that a word, kosher? I know it is a word, but is it? am I using it right? Oh, it's the gates of Satan's butt. It looks like goatsy, doesn't it? Sorry to bring that up, but it does. What do you see? Do you see two vases talking or a vase? Come on, get up there. Yeah, ah, don't you pretend. Oh, we're in the village. This is everything I wanted. I'm sorry for sounding so excited. I sound like a freaking loser, but I just love glitches. Look at this. We can go pretend like we can pretend we're playing Midtown Madness or something. <laughs> the most relevant game ever, Midtown Madness. What did I say? My brother's apartment was this green one. Yep, he lives right up in here. Just killed him. Whoops. Look, it's the Citadel also behind an invisible wall right here. Oh, well. Yeah, it's the invisible wall that runs along this edge, huh? This edge, Sheeran. Keep bringing that guy up, sorry. I think I've had dreams that looked like this before. It reminds me of my grandma's house. I think we've kind of run this one all the way through its paces. I don't know if there's anywhere else. We explored pretty much every edge. Every edge Sheeran. Pardon me for not mentioning him again. Well, there you go. That's a nice quiet Half-Life 2 glitch for you. Not much to it, is there? Play that jingle. All right, you did it. Let's kick it off. This is red, color of hell. This is blue, color of sky. Shit. Welcome back. So the second glitch we're doing is the one that I feel less confident about its legitimacy. I found a YouTube video of someone doing a bunch of glitches in Half-Life 2 and one of these glitches takes place at the very uh, beginning of the game in an alleyway where there are two police officers with batons will beat your ass for nothing. Not unlike the normal police, but we'll leave that, uh, we'll leave that. Maybe I'll believe that. According to this video, if you walk up to the police just in the right way, jump on top of this dumpster and provoke them into hitting you, for some reason when they hit you, you'll fly 600 feet into the air. Now the point of this is that there's an area that the police are guarding that you're not allowed to go back into. It's an area outside of the map, and if you get the uh, kind officer of the law to beat you in the face with his club in just the right way, you can fly high enough that you can get over the invisible barrier and into the place we're not supposed to be. It's a PC game, so glitches are not necessarily uh, consistent across all people's versions of the game because of differences in hardware or whether they've been updated. So don't cross your fingers that it'll work, but if anyone can figure it out, it's me, right? Let's take a look. See, the start of this game is really awesome, and it's really well acted, and it's really cool, and this guy's a creep. But then what happens? Bunch of pulpy shit. And I like pulp, but geez, if you're gonna go pulp, just do pulp. Don't do awesome and then do pulp. Just pulp, pulp, pulp. God, that's my review of Half-Life 2. Now, where am I going? Not here. I gotta go in like an alley somewhere. Maybe it's back here. All right, you guys heard the drill. This is, oh my God, an alien. So all I should have to do is throw this at this dude and then it'll whack me 700 feet. But I think I have to like jump while he does it. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what I have to do, but I should really save actually before interrogating, before instigating conflict with the police. That's my advice for real life as well. If you have to instigate conflict with the police, which sometimes may become necessary, uh, save first. Whack me, whack me. Give me a good whack. Whoa, okay, I went, I went pretty far. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Ooh, I wonder if I could, ah! Asshole, hit me. Bang, whoa! Okay, that wasn't as far, but that, okay, I'm seeing some stuff. We're seeing some stuff happen. There are pieces moving. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Can't get past my crate, huh? Yeah, let's dance. 
Oh, French. Then, ready? Hit me. Boom! Yes, yes, yes! No, bad. That still is not as high as I saw in the video. There, I know that there's gotta be a way to make this. Yeah. No, stop, stop. Jeez, you guys are violent. Give me a good hit. Boom! Yes, no. Not nearly high enough. Wanna give me a good hit? Bang! Yes, no, not high enough. Girl, you know I want your love. Hit me! No. I, why, I... This is the worst episode ever. I keep singing Ed Sheeran. You know, one thing I notice about the time it works in the video is it's... Anytime he gets hit by this guy, the front guy, it's just a normal, like... You know, it's pretty good, but this guy's no Roger Clemens, you know? Was that a baseball player? It's always this guy that really gives him the go. Oh, French. Hit me! Yes! Yo, that was a really good one. Wasn't the best one. I've seen better, but it was a good one. Uh, that time it was the guy in the back, not this guy. This guy sucks. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, come on. You want to play? You want to play, dude? You wanna ah! Yes, that's the guy. Every time that guy hits me, he's got the good arm. Come on. Oh, yes. Yep, that's the guy. Man, how come he's so much stronger? All right, new idea. New idea. This is the guy that we don't like. So what we're going to do is we're going to whack him with that. Bring him all the way down here. Come on. And we're gonna juke him out. Get all the way back up. And then we're gonna save here. And he's all the way over there, which gives us a nice, clean way of oh, dealing with this guy who's way stronger. Come here. Who just hit me? This is really annoying. Hit me. Hit me good. Hit me good. Yes, yes. No, not high enough. <laughs> It's close. It was real close. Hit me good. No, you missed. How could you miss? I was three feet in front of you. He's my baby. Come on, be my baby. Come on. And whack. Why do I even bother? I feel good. I feel like we're gonna get it really soon. You know what I mean? You ever had that feeling? You ever had a, just a good feeling about your life? Like something good was about to happen? I've never had that, but, oh man. And I'm ruining my opinion of this game by doing this stupid glitch. Hit me. Why did you give up? Why did you give up? Why did you give up? I don't know how that happened. Hit me. Bang, yes, yes, over, over, over. I did it, oh my God, I did it. <coughs> <coughs> Holy French, I can't believe I did it. Oh my God, thank. Thank you for watching Eggbusters. I can't tell you how much it means to me that you stuck with me until just this very second. Please support me on Patreon if you want to support me. <laughs> All right, it's done. Now what? I don't even care. I did it. Oh, that took way too- No, no, they can come out here. No, no, no. Bad, bad. Get out. This is my turf now. You can't- Oh God, there's no road. Oh, the police have found a way to get me for once and for good. No, no. Oh, look shit. At this. Look at this. Well, I guess I can just run away. Oh, but now the screen's all white. Okay, let's check this way, because the, the police will murder you if you give them the chance. What about this guy? Is he going to be upset with me? What up? Oh, God. Oh, no. I locked myself in jail. Wait, maybe I didn't. Ah! Who the French? Where the hell did you come from? Jesus. Oh, no, 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 you don't. That's right. You can't come back here. That's what I thought. I'm safe in this little jail. Oh, no, I'm not. The one thing I would like is if there was a way to come out here when that giant spider bug was coming out here. But that would probably take a ludicrous... Oh, god damn it, you guys. Are you serious? Come on. Leave me alone, okay? I just want to go to the end of the world and look out before we're done. Give up. Quit chasing me. You look fat. Which is fine. I just am observing. And we're at the end of the road. All right, well, I guess that's it. So now he's just going to beat me. There's nothing to be done. Just keeps on hitting me. Guy's taking pictures though, so at least someone will have it on YouTube. Alright, I had fun. That was good. I feel okay. Sort of. I'm tired. Play that jingle.
Well, I stand corrected. It worked. Great for us, we've done it. Thanks for watching this episode of Eggbusters. If you want to see more Eggbusters, if you want them more often uh, and more exciting and better quality, consider donating to me on Patreon. It'll support all sorts of things that I love to do on this YouTube channel that you love to watch. Otherwise, if you don't wanna do that, and you wanna help me out, leave any sort of comment in the comment box. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And what's the other thing? Oh, like the video. I personally, listen, I don't like YouTube videos ever. My liked video list, I think maybe has two things on it. So it's fine if you don't wanna do that for some reason, but if you are trying to find a way to assist YouTube channels, liking the videos for some reason boosts their uh, appearance in the search and the related videos and stuff. So you can think about doing that. That's it. You can follow me on Twitter or Snapchat, Instagram, a lot of things that I never use. And uh, I hope you have a good day. I hope your Saturday's all right or whatever day you watch this on. And if it's not, why don't you tell, let's vent in the comments what is going wrong in our lives and then we can all tell each other that it's, you're gonna be all right, maybe, unless what's going wrong is very bad, in which case I'm really sorry and I hope it goes by quickly. Uh, okay, that's it. Have a nice uh, day, everybody. I will see you next time on Eggbusters or whatever video I make next. Cheers, pip pip cheerio, and there we go. Barney, read a book.